so I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me type of video today um so my aunt bought me this beautiful little makeup um, makeup brush set for Christmas and I want to try it out so the first thing I'm gonna do is take this CeraVe moisturizing cream and I'm going to put that all over my face so I think you can get this at Walmart but I got this from dermatologist and the way you want to moisturize your face, I'm going to tell you a little secret right here, okay? I wanted to send you to school, so listen up. The way you want to moisturize your face is, of course, put it on your face, but you want to slap your face instead of rubbing it. Because if you slap your face, it makes your skin tighter and it prevents wrinkles. So the next thing I do is I put on foundation. I'm going to use this L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation in shade 301. It is classic ivory. You know, I used to be like a honey color, but now look at me. I'm so white. It's this one just because I like oval brushes for foundation. And we're going to see how this one does. I'm not sure where she got these from, but I actually like to... Do this first instead of just slapping it on my brush and if I need to build it I just build the foundation so it's going on pretty good with this brush I think the shade's a little too light for me that I'm noticing but you can fix that I'm gonna try a different brush I'm gonna try this little brush right here and I'm just gonna I usually like to use a sponge for foundation. This one actually is working better. So in the middle of trying to do my eyebrows, this little one woke up. She's so adorable, but yeah, that's why I look crazy right now. I'm not quite finished yet, but um, I'm gonna try to get this little girl back to sleep, or at least put her by me. But. Yeah, I was trying to make a video without her waking up, but you woke up. She smelled me whenever I, I won't get my charger. <laughs> now that I put this up to my nose, it has a smell like it's been cleaned. Like it smells like perfume. Unless that was me. I don't know. It smells like perfume. It smells like perfume. You want to do your makeup? I look really, really white. I look like a ghost. Look like a ghost. I look like a ghost. I look like a ghost. I look like a ghost. Like a ghost. Like a ghost. Like a ghost. 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 <laughs> All right. That was my little wrap of the day. Hi. Where is my contour palette? I don't know. So I'm just gonna take this little bronzer right here and I'm gonna put it on my face. And I'm gonna use this new brush. I'm gonna try it out and let's see how that works. I really like this brush because it's like angled for your cheekbone. Really hard to do makeup with this baby on my head. <laughs> Hi! You want to know what my life is like? This is what my life is like, but I love it. Hi, pretty girl! You are so beautiful to me. Look at her pretty eyes. They're so beautiful and blue. Hi. Okay, now that we look a little alive, I'm going to put on some, on some, on some foundation, no, 
on some blush. Okay, Malia, where's her blush? Where's her blush? Where's the blush? I don't know where my blush is. I don't have a blush palette. I need to get one. I ran out of like, well, you know what? I ran out and I lost so much makeup. But I got this out of my boxy charm that I unsubscribed to because I didn't like any of the, like, I was like one or two products that BoxyCharm would give me out of like five of them I think it was and it's just like I would get stuff and not even use it so I subscribe I'm just gonna get makeup whenever I like the makeup and that's what I'm gonna do but I have a little contour brush right here I'm gonna dip into my my blush and this is the color hush blush it's kind of too dark for me but like I said, I'm probably going to use it until whenever. See, it's like really, really blushy. But I guess that's how blush is supposed to be, right? And I'm really, I haven't even been wearing blush that much. I've been wearing mainly like um, bronzer and highlighter. My back is really hurting. But I like to put a little bit on my nose just to kind of give it some color. So now what I'm going to do is take some baking powder and I'm gonna let me put a little bit more bronzer. I look crazy right now, but it's all gonna come together. So I'm going to take some baking powder I'm going to bake just I only bake underneath my bronzer let's, let's try out using this brush I think that's what I'm going to use this brush for is to bake with me some chisel I like to use flat small brushes for eyeliner and I like to use this eyeliner I like to use gel eyeliner and I, I like Maybelline I like L'Oreal I don't know it's a holy grail for eyeliner so I'm going to do a little wing and this is just like an everyday makeup look I'm not doing anything too fancy and I like to start my eyeliner right here like that and then I do my wing girl gotta have a wing or oh, I feel naked most of the time I'm going to take my Jaclyn Hill palette again and I'm going to take the bottom right brow and I'm going to take one of my new brushes I'm going to use this little brush that comes apart <laughs> I'm going to use this one I cannot even grab it in the middle I'm going to have to tape it So that brush kind of I'm not a fan of it I'm just gonna do it like this and I'm gonna take the darker brown color shade whatever I'm gonna put it under oh, actually I don't think that brush is big enough for that I'm gonna use this bigger one instead
to use eye, I I like to use eyeshadow instead of eyeliner underneath. That's just my preference. Preference. to take another brush just a little flat brush right here and I'm gonna use like a highlight color and highlight my outer inner eyes whatever and I don't think I'm gonna put on any eyelashes today because yeah you know why and now I'm going to use this big fluffy brush, a fluffy, fluffy brush. I'm going to blend all this stuff in. For some reason, the brush was wet. <laughs> I don't know why. All right, so now I'm going to put on some highlighter, and I'm going to use. This one I'm going to use this brush for a highlighter and I do have a Becca Cosmetics highlighter I really don't, didn't want to use that one but I cannot find my contour kit anywhere so we'll figure that one <sighs> nope I cannot find it so I'm gonna use my Becca Cosmetics highlighter that is severely cracked. So let's not hope we don't get it everywhere. I'm gonna put that on my nose. Right here. Now we're shining. We're so shining. I used to love this. I'm gonna say used to because it used to make my eyelashes look popping, and now they don't look so much popping, right? All right. So now that we have on some mascara, it's time to do our lips because, girl, you gotta have something on your lips. I don't care what it is. You gotta have something. And I just got this Wet n Wild lip liner in the shade Perfect Pout. Yeah, who doesn't like that Perfect Pout? But let's see if I can put this on. Okay, so it's right here. Oh, and this is like really, really creamy. Sometimes I feel like it's a little too creamy. But I define my lips and then I color it in and then I'll put on like a, a darker shade on top just to kind of give it some dimension I guess and then that is it I think that's gonna be it for this look I hope I'm not forgetting anything <sighs> too bad for having a baby on my arm the whole time but I love my baby girl I was gonna do my hair but I don't think that's gonna happen right now at this moment so yeah we'll see how that goes I might have to do a separate video for that once this little one goes down for a nap or something but she was supposed to be sleeping while I was making this video so that's why I started making this video but um mom life like this video if you can relate to having to hold your babies while doing your makeup or just like this video if you like this video both let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below and i will see you in my next video bye